Congratulations and welcome to tutorial number six. I'm Oak Norton and this is the last video tutorial that I'm going to do, but what's going to follow are going to be a little bit more of a deep dive into the resources that are available, like the Blue Letter Bible and Bible Hub and some of those. So this is kind of like a, a look at how to think while you're studying the scriptures. How do you kind of go from one stage to the next? What are some of the resources that you can use? And I'm not going to try and cover everything that's written on the website tutorial six page. So if you're interested in seeing a little bit more, go check that out. Otherwise, I'm just going to give you kind of a, a quick look with a couple of tips as to how I uh, do my research. And I am by no means an expert or a scholar. So one day I was reading in Doctrine and Covenants section one, and I came across verse 36 here. It says, And also the Lord shall have power over his saints, and shall reign in their midst, and shall come down in judgment upon Idumea or the world. Now I looked at that and I thought, well, Idumea, you know, what does that mean? Where does that come from? And so the first thing I did was I wanted to see where else is it used in Scripture. And so I did a search for Idumea. And you can see here, there's two references in Isaiah. There's two references in Ezekiel. And then there's this verse in the Doctrine and Covenants. And now that we've added the Apocrypha and some other works in here, there are some more references down there. But in the standard works, there's five references. And so I thought, okay, well, I wonder, you know, maybe... I'm not familiar with the word. Maybe I should do a wild card search. And so I took off the EA and I put on a wild card. And lo and behold, I found another version of that word in Mark. And it's spelled differently. Instead of Idumea, it's A-E-A -E -A on the end. So there's actually an extra verse talking about the same uh, place. So what is Idumea? And why does the Lord reference it? Is there a reason that in the Doctrine and Covenants, he mentions it one time, and in the Bible, it's there five times? Do you remember our first tutorial with the word director? It's the exact same situation. The Lord is making a reference to something he's already talked about. So what the Lord does in the scriptures is, he doesn't want to spell everything out in every single place. So he, he says, okay, I've talked about this here, 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 and here. Now I'm just going to reference the word, and you're going to need to know from your searching the scriptures that that's where I'm going. So if you want to understand Idumea, you go read Isaiah 34 and Ezekiel 35 and 36, and you look at what those are talking about and what the Lord is talking about is judgment day on this Idumea. Well, what is Idumea? He says, or the world here in Doctrine and Covenants 136. And if if you try and go to the link here, we do have the LDS citation index for the Doctrine and Covenants built in, which would bring you out here to this project at BYU, and you could see what other general authorities have said about that verse, how they've referenced it, but that's not actually where it's going to be most helpful. What's most helpful, and I do this quite a bit, if I see a word that is either unique to or I'm finding it in the Book of Mormon or Doctrine and Covenants, I will do a search across the scriptures for that word and then find where it's in the Bible so I can then click this link and say, show me the Blue Letter Bible version of that, uh, the, the Strong's Concordance, the Hebrew or Greek of that word. So I get down to a definition. So that's what I've done here. I've gone out, close that one. I've gone out to the uh, Blue Letter Bible here for Isaiah 34, 5. I checked the Strong's box at the top so these numbers would pop up. And I click on Idumea. Turns out Idumea is Edom. Comes from this root word. I can click, you can click this or hover there. It, it means red or ruddy, which is exactly what you would expect when you come down here and see Edom relates to Esau, the elder twin brother of Jacob. So the Edomites are descendants of Esau. 
And Esau, you, you remember his name means red or ruddy because he came out hairy and probably bloody. And so uh, now let's get this in context. What is Idumea? It's the descendants of Jacob in a spiritual sense. It's the world. It's the people outside the covenant. Those that won't make the covenant or that aren't living the covenant. And they've made it because they were either born into it or, or joined maybe in the covenant at some point. But the judgment that the Lord is talking about coming out on Idumea here is exactly what's being brought up in Isaiah 34 and Ezekiel 35 and 36 as judgment day on those who are ignoring their covenants. They despise their birthright, just like Esau did. So that's a really quick look at that scripture and how to go about finding those kinds of things. And then for me, I created a collection note out here and put those scriptures in it and uh, a few others here maybe that I found about the uh, vengeance day and upon my house it shall begin because it's those that have despised their birthright. So that is the end of what I'm going to share in this tutorial. Again, you can go out to the website and look at tutorial six, the, the text. There's a little bit more there. But I hope this has been really helpful and useful to go through these tutorials. And what's coming next is some resource emails for the next few weeks and study study topics. So you're going to see study topics come in like uh, one day a week on Wednesdays. And those resource emails will come in on Fridays for a few weeks and then they'll stop. But the study topics will, again, show you how to use scripture notes and how to study, how to do some searches and just go further into these kinds of topics. But by now, you're probably getting pretty comfortable with the interface and using it and just keep it up. It's You'll, you'll continue to build your skills and we're going to continue to enhance the product so that, you know, there's more power here for you as a user. So again, thanks for watching and make sure you are journaling and writing down the things you learn. And I will see you soon on some other topics.